Hi, I will show you how to interface use with Mac Controller. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to use P connected to 550 Mac Controller. You can see here. Uh, it's a uh, perfect Mac Controller for its communications. Uh, uh, this Mac Controller has its own internal PLL circuit which convert 4, mac 4 MHz spoke to 96 MHz spoke. It's very important we need uh, need this Mac controller. Now I'm going to we need uh, 22 picofarad capacitor to run this Mac controller. Is the is another important part. We need uh, 220 nanofarad capacitor to connect with the USB port here. So here's the capacitor. Let's I'm going to use USB connector B type here. Yeah, the D plus pin should be connected with the D plus here, six number pin, and D minus with T minus. That's all the circuit. This all the circuit. Now we need the source hex file for this Mac router. So we have to create a new project in Mac C. I'll name that. Yeah. My USB test. Project uh, I'm using P connected to 5 Mac controller and the crystal should be 12 megahertz. Next, include all defaults. We need to edit something on project properties and project properties, so click on that and then finish it. As the most important part, you know, uh, P Connected Mac, Mac Controller has its own internal PL circuit to convert 4 megahertz spoke to 96 spoke. Uh, 96 megahertz spoke. Uh, we used uh, 12 megahertz crystal, so we need to divide it by 3 because we need uh, 4 megahertz spoke. That will be converted with PLL circuit. So you can see that divided by 3, 12 megahertz oscillator input. Primary oscillator should be that. Our 96 megahertz PLL signal, the USB source comes from the 96 megahertz PLL, should be divided by 2. And here we select it, I've selected it, and the oscillator selection should be. Yes, we must have to enable the voltage regulator to make the successful connections. So press OK. I'll write source code. Signed. Factor. Okay. 
this. Is it data? Is it data? Test for. Here we have defined uh, absolute 0x, 5, 0, 0. It's uh, the location of use gram because uh, uh, we're going to save this, we're going to save the receipt data on use gram and send data variable should be on that way. Send data. And this we need an integer variable integer I zero. We need a USB interrupt function, so interrupt, write interrupt. And USB. Function This function uh, initializes your USB. Means your HID or USB will enable with the receipt data, with receipt data and send data. Need a while loop, it's an inferior loop. While We're going to send uh, the same that we have received will receive. So back to zero. We're going to write data what will be received. Then a function to send data. There's our source code. We need a descriptor file with our source code. Uh, it's a very important file. Uh, actually, the descriptor file will get your computer to understand about your device information, like as event ID, product ID, manufacturer ID, etc. You can click here, and there is descriptor. It's vendor uh, ID and product ID, uh, vendor name, product name. The password, the password is enabled. It's uh, the very important. Uh, it's make sure that uh, your microcontroller can get its power from your computer. 
if you disable it can get it actually it's uh, give the function for your microcontroller to take uh, apart from computer I will save it yes. save it here and I have to add it to the source so add part project next job Here. Run it. My dot hex. If you like to select uh, the USB connection from Proteus, we need to install the virtual USB for Proteus here, here virtual USB. We need to install it. I already have installed it, so I'm now I'm going to modify it. Okay, finish it. Then just Run the project. To show the conditions, I have to use, you can see that my device and there is a USB HID terminal. We can send data from here and uh, I. It's me. Send it and you set it. Welcome. Welcome. So in this way we can make use of condition. Or back home here. So, thank you.